Hey guys, John here from John's DIY Playground. Today I want to demonstrate uh, the use of light pipes, which are really just acrylic plastic rods. They come in like seven, eight inch, and eight inch lengths in this case where I bought these. They're, they're flexible, a little bit flexible. And the idea is I have some LEDs inside this project where I want to show the LEDs on top of the case have little indicator areas. And what I'm gonna do is use these acrylic rods to do so. So if you take a look inside here, um, you can see the circuit board that I have. This is a backup battery system I have for my Raspberry Pi. So when the power goes down, this thing actually takes over for a little while and can do a controlled shutdown. Um, I bought this from Low Power Lab and uh, works very well. Um, I've cut a light pipe here and I'll show you what I did also with the ends. Um, did a little bit of sandpapering to rough up the end and um, just clipped it with a set of wire clippers to length. Just leaving a little bit extra to, after I drill a hole, I'm going to show you how I kind of measure it off. But um, you can see the idea is that um, when I get the light pipe near this LED, the um, LED will then put the light down the pipe and come out at the end. I don't know if that shows up. Let me try to shadow the overhead lamp, but you can see it there, how it moves the light through. So that's what we're going to try and do today. So let's get started. All right, so we've got these light pipes, and I didn't tell you that they are 1 16th inch in diameter. So 1 16th of an inch, so I've got a drill here now with the 1 16th of an inch drill bit. And this particular light that I want to pipe up to the surface here um, is a little bit proud of the case lid. But like I said, even with that short distance, it's a, the light pipes are a little bit flexible. Um, when I drill into here, I'm going to drill down here, but I'm maybe a couple millimeters lower than where the light actually stands. So we will bend this acrylic pipe a little bit to make it to the LED. So I'm not even going to be critical about measurement. I'm going to kind of eyeball this and just put it where I think we're pretty as close to a straight shot as we are to the LED. Looks about to be right there. And let's just drill. Okay, and then we'll fit our light pipe in there. Um, I'm going to have to position it a little bit once I get it through. I'll do that off camera, but um, I'll show you once I get this thing lined up. But you can see when I go and push this through, I'm actually hitting on the, uh, the programming connector there. But I'm going to actually straddle through in between there, and I'll show you how it looks when I'm done. You can see how it looks now close up. Um, I actually went over the programming connector in this case. I tried to go under but there was still too much upward, uh, I guess, direction I needed to bend the pipe. And now that I've got it very, very close to the LED, it needs to be bent downwards. And I'm gonna see if I can relieve some of this pressure here with a heat gun. But also, I'm a little bit long. This is, like I said, I cut it a little, with a little bit of extra length. I don't want it to stick out that far. I just want it to stick out maybe uh, one millimeter or so above the surface of this edge. So I'm gonna take some wire clippers and clip this down. And then I'm going to, um, you know, go in here and uh, push the pipe in a little bit further. And let me get a heat gun and see if we can uh, get the final bend um, stress relief done over here in the area where it's coming over the connector. I'm going to be using a 1,000 watt hobby uh, heat gun. You can find them at most hobby stores. People use them for like airplanes and things like that. It's not a hair dryer. It's a heat gun. And... Uh, I'm going to kind of blow it away from the electronics and in the direction like this um, towards myself, I guess, towards the camera from right to left. And we're just going to try this for a little bit. The idea is we want to bend this acrylic rod down so that it's on top of the light and not uh, wanting to bend upwards. So uh, let's see how this goes. I can see the acrylic is starting to melt right at the bend point there. Um, so I stopped the heat right there. It was going to actually melt the thing in half. So I stopped right there. It looks like we've accomplished what we want to accomplish. I just want to make sure now, um, as I try to set the heat gun down in a spot that won't melt the table, <laughs> um, that we're just going to have to position this in place. 
And then I'm probably going to hit it with a dab of hot glue so that it's always going to be um, connected as close as possible to this LED, and I'll show you what that looks like when we're done. Here's the finished product. I did put a little dab of hot glue here, as I described. You can see it's carrying the light pretty good out to the end, and uh, that's all there is to it, really. Um, it's not that hard to do. It's pretty quick, pretty easy to work with these light pipes, and uh, if you have a project like this, I highly recommend it. It's, uh, you know, takes maybe, uh, if I didn't have to do a video, maybe 10 minutes to do. So uh, give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And hit the subscribe button so you can know when I release new videos. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.